Hang on, a new piece of the future is about to arrive. Imagine playing an immersive video game where you are right in the middle of the action, battling robot attackers in your own living room. Anthony likes this feature. I like this one, shopping for sneakers from the comfort <laughs> of your own sofa with nah. realistic 3D images of the shoes floating right in front of you. It looks like science fiction, but a new tech company, Magic Leap, is about to make it real with a technology called Mixed Reality, MR for short. Wired Magazine senior staff writer Jesse Hempel got to sample MR technology at Magic Leap's South Florida headquarters. She's here to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. I thought I lived in mix mixed reality, but this looks <laughs> even better. <laughs> it's so cool. How is it different than virtual reality? Well, virtual reality is like a stepping stone on the way to mixed reality. Right. So in virtual reality, when you're in it, all you see is the digital, right? You don't see your hands, your feet, the room. Right. Next, you got augmented reality. That's when you see the digital over the room that you're in. Yes. Mixed reality is what comes next. And it's when you can see and interact with the digital. If you're shopping for shoes, you can reach out and you can look at the shoes. It's interesting because this seems like the nexus of physics and biology. Like it is really playing with your senses. It is. It is playing with your senses. It's a great way to say it. Tell us about what you found at Magic Leap's headquarters. Well, so I went to Magic Leap both because I wanted to try the technology and I thought that it was just crazy that there is this crazy tech company that's not in Silicon Valley, it's in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Suburban Florida Suburban too, right? Suburban Florida. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you go there, you will hang out in a Sheraton with the people about to go on a cruise vacation. Right next door, this stuff is being developed by engineers coming out of MIT and Microsoft, like crazy stuff. So what does it look like when you put it on? What was it? Okay, so it is still really early. It's not going to look like this when you buy it. But right now, it's still a big old machine that is connected by this big cord to a computer. And that's because it's not ready for prime time just yet. Um, but when you look through the lenses on that machine, that's when you see the experience. So... Give me an example of what you saw. Okay. Well, the coolest thing that I saw was I was looking through the lenses. They kind of look like goggles. And there was this firefly that was going all around the room. And, you know, I've tried a lot of these. I've tried Microsoft's HoloLens and Meta and the Oculus. And with this, it just looked realer. There was no pixelation. It actually looked like a firefly. And I held out my finger, and the firefly landed on my finger. Wow. And the crazy thing was that I felt it. Because you, you have no feeling in the tip of your finger, you no, said. No, I have no feeling in the tip of my finger. I had an accident a few So your years brain ago. just thought you were feeling exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, when we were talking about this, we showed people images of the shoe, floating shoe and, yeah. you know, redesigning a kitchen. How far away are we from that, being able to do this within our own home? We are farther than I want to be. Yeah. Uh, we're still a few years away. You know, so um, Magic Leap is several years away. I mean, it's hard to say they won't say, they won't even say the year that it will be available. Some of their competitors, they already have the, uh, developers kits available so that software developers can get their hands on early models and start to play with it. But you're several years out from the kind of world that I was seeing in the goggles. How big a technology race is going on here? I assume other people are pursuing this. This is one of the biggest things happening in Silicon Valley and beyond. Everybody is in this game. Facebook is putting resources against it. Google is putting resources against it. Microsoft has developed what I think is the furthest along right now when it comes to augmented reality. It's called the HoloLens. So really, if you're not in this game, you're not really thinking about the future of tech. It, we, saw, we saw a medical application there, too, to think it's not just commercial, that it really could help in a surgery or something like that. It's really, it's unbelievable. Well, you know, the, the thing to think about when you're thinking about this stuff is it's not just entertainment. And the reason those companies are excited about it is because they think that this is the thing that's going to replace your phone. Yeah. So, you know, you went from computer yeah. to phone. Next, you'll have a headset of some sort. And you'll be able to, let's say that you take a vacation to China. You could look up and in real time see all the signs around you in English. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Jesse Hempel, fascinating stuff. Mixed reality. Thanks for being with us.